Hey guys, it's Shelby from Made Love by Shelves here, and today I'm doing another remake tech because I guess a lot of you guys seem to like those. So, goody goody, I get to show you a bunch of my bad charms. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe if you're new, come join the family. And don't forget to go follow me over on Crafty Amino because when I reach 1k followers, I will be doing a giveaway to one of you guys. So, I'm super close, so go check it out. All the links to all of my social media will be in the description box down below. Now, let's get started. Okay, so really quickly, I just want to let you guys know that some of the charms I'm showing today actually have the new version of it, but they're gone somewhere across the country because I sold them on my Etsy shop, but I do have pictures to show you guys. So yeah, so that explains why I have some charms in person and some not. Okay, so anyway, first up I have my moon charm. Now I think you guys have seen this charm before, but it is like a little moon. And here's what it looks like. So it, it has silver colored clay and I really don't like the color I chose. And the craters are really uneven and really randomly put around. I'd rather have it a little bit more uniform. So apparently I thought that these types of beads were micro marble. Micro marbles look nothing like this, but in my mind it made sense. Never use clear nail polish really to glaze your charms because as you see it just kind of like it's peeling away so here is my new moon charm and i absolutely love this charm i love how it turned out i did the craters a little bit more um, uniform and they're not as random as the other one the face is so much cuter i used clay for it i didn't use any of those weird beads and i also glazed it with an actual glaze not in nail polish and the color is so much better it's like a nice lighter gray here are the two in comparison this one was made about two years ago and this one i made um, I think a week ago so that's what these look like for the next charm I'm going to be showing you is my watermelon cupcakes you guys can go find that tutorial over on my channel here is the old one so it looks something like this the base is really weird looking I decided to do the two colors and I think it kind of looks just random and messy the seeds actually aren't bad I mean I use the same technique on my watermelon turtle cup uh, turtle charms but I think they're just bumpy and face is not my style I painted the mouth on and I added shine to the eyes um, I just I like it for certain charms this style but not for this charm. I don't think it really worked out so here is the new watermelon cupcake so it's a lot more my style it has a nice kawaii face um, not painted on the base is not random it's just a nice solid green and the seeds on top are out of clay not micro marbles here is the other one i made it's a pink one and this is the one i made in the tutorial you guys can go watch it um over on my channel you know go check it out it's really fun because i love these charms i think they're really really cute anyway here are the two side by side this one was made about a year ago and this one was made a few weeks ago so then i made this okay so it's a molang if you guys couldn't tell <laughs> don't worry it's really hard to tell because it's really ugly so I used a white color and off-white and I really don't like how it looks because it's really dirty and look at the face I like smeared like black clay on it on accident I think I like rage quit crafting you know and I just I was over it and it doesn't even have ears it's so sad oh so here's the new one and it is this little moling and I have this over on my Etsy shop there'll be a link to it in the description box down below but I love how it turned out it's super tiny it's I've got small hands so it's really tiny it's like the size of a penny. It looks a lot like more like molangish. And here are the two side by side. <laughs> this is a really big improvement, I think. Okay, so for the next charms, they are kind of the same. I remade it a little bit differently. It's this little bear. Now I remember being really proud of this when I first made it. This was like one of the first really good charms. Or I called it good charm because. I remember being really bad at clay or absolutely hating it so when I made this I had like a ray of hope and I was like oh my gosh I can totally do this I'm so good at clay I made a couple of them I really love the colors of clay though this is jade green it's so underrated okay this is off topic so I like the idea I just don't think I executed it well so the colors are nice I mean they're kind of dirty uh, it's not very even as you see the paws are like a little iffy and the glaze job is awful um, I think I use nail polish. I have no idea. The bows are just kind of like, I mean, they could be so much more realistic and not so square looking. The new charm is not exactly the same, but it's like still like a pink bear. So it's this little happy bear and it's um, got such a cuter face. The snout is a lot smaller compared to the other one. It's cleaner. 
And this little one is actually, doesn't have a bow, but it has a balloon instead because I thought I was in the mood for a balloon. And I gave more detail like to the ears. I actually added like the little pink parts in the ears. So there's a pretty big improvement. Again, the next charms are kind of related, but they're a little bit different. They're all cats. So the first cat I made is this one. I mean, it's dirty and it's iffy, but I mean, I think it's still cute because I remember being really proud of this charm. So it's really big. The face is really thick, but I remember being super proud of it. And the flower is lacking a bunch of detail. So this is like the second one and it's okay. I just actually, I, I don't like this charm. I think it looks really smashed and just not very neat. No, they're different, but they're all cats, so they all work. So it's so much cuter. The blending is very smooth. It's clean and it looks not iffy, not dirty. And the face is really cute too. They're not bad, but this is what they look like. Okay, so next up I have pumpkin charms. It resembles a pumpkin, but like kind of, not really. The face is kind of weird. It looks awkward on the charm. And the stem is really awkward because it's like flattened, but it has like really weird like wrinkly texture to it. I don't know what I was going for. Now here is the new one and I love this charm. Like this was my first post on Crafty Amino. I remember it got like over 500 likes and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going viral. <laughs> the vine I made on a needle and I like wrapped it and it looked really cool. I love what it adds to this charm. And the face is just my new style. And this one was made, I think, like two years ago. And this one was made last year. Okay, so the rest of the charms are... I have the old one, but I don't have the new one. I only have pictures of the new one because it's sold on my Etsy shop. This cactus charm. So I remember being so proud of this charm, but I don't think it's that bad. I actually think it's still really cute. But I used beads for the dirt and painted the face. And I like using clay now because I think it looks a lot nicer, in my opinion. Just insert a picture into the video so you saw the new cactus, so there's that one and the old one. Finally for this, I have lion. So I'm going to show you my old one. Now I don't think this one is bad. I actually really like this charm. I just, I have a different, you know, I, I did it in a different style. I think this could have so much more potential. So you just saw the new lion and here's the old one. So I don't dislike this one, but you know. I think the new one just is a lot, you know, a lot right, cool. guys, so that was it for this remake tag. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Tell me down in the comments below which one you think I improved the most on. And also, please leave requests for any future videos or any ideas that you may have down below or any, you know, tutorials that you want to see. Check the description box, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Keep on crafting.